Hello, my name is Candice and I'm going to be performing a dry clean dress and change. Um, this is my patient. Um, I'm going to verify the physician's order. I'm going to gather my equipment. I'm going to make sure that my patient doesn't have any allergies. Um, because patients could be allergic to um, the tape, so you want to make sure you verify any allergies with the patient. And then I'm going to perform my hand hygiene. And then I'm going to pretend to put on clean gloves. Okay. So once I put on my clean gloves, I'm going to remove the sword dressing. And what you want to do is move um, this away. Remove the edges carefully. I don't know if you can see me. I hope you can. Move them. Remove them to the middle. And if it doesn't come off um, freely, you can use um, an adhesive remover to help you get it off. But this is just, um, it comes off pretty easy. And once I get this off, you're going to note your drainage and what it looks like. And my pretend wound it does have a little i would say a little blood on it not much and you're gonna i'm gonna discard this in my bio bag okay i'm gonna pull take off my gloves again and discard them as well and i'm gonna perform hand hygiene again and then I'm going to apply gloves again okay now I'm going to pretend that this is my um, gauze here and I'm going to take my saline I have on um, clean gloves again at this point guys and I'm going to the label this is double sided but also it doesn't matter about the label. I'm going to put that label on the inside and I'm going to pour some of this over my gauze. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a pocket with the corners. I don't know if you can see me. just like that and then I'm going to clean one wipe down discard and biohazard I'm going to perform create another pocket I'm going to wipe it down again dispose and then I'm going to open um, more gauze to dry the area and I'm going to do that in the same manner wipe discard Make sure that's clean and dry. Okay. And then I'm 
going to cut this. I could fold it, but because my patient's leg is small, I'm going to cut it with my scissors here, if you can see. And I'm going to cut it. And then I'm going to place this over here. And I'm going to secure it with tape. And I'm going to, I didn't make that one long enough, so I'm going to put it right here. And you want to make sure you have like an inch of tape on the skin. You don't want much. You could already have your tape um, laying out if you would like. You can do that ahead of time, but I just need to do it like this. You want to be gentle, you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your um, patient's wound. Okay. And then I'm going to uh, remove my gloves, this part, and I'm going to perform hand hygiene again. And then I'm going to document the procedure and um, and my findings, including the um, how the wound looks, um, the appearance of the wound, how it looks, um, cocoa, um, color, odor, consistency, and amount of drainage, if any. And I'm also going to document my patient's response. All right, thank you.